Rolling and action. It is so often I, I see a movie, and this has happened ever since I've been watching movies, where the girl's reward by the end of the movie is the guy. That's what she gets for making changes, or she changes for him. The reason I think this movie is so important is because, yes, she's in a love triangle, and yes, there are men to choose from, but the changes that she makes are for herself. Her journey or her path is to actually admit what she deeply, truly wants. It's what her truth is. And it has nothing to do with either one of the guys. Her reward, her reward is being happy. Her, her treat is knowing that she's chosen the right life for herself. And if she chooses one of the guys, they're a bonus. They're, they're the cherry on top for the Sunday uh, that she's already fucking building. In storybooks, in movies, in TV, the, and they lived happily ever after is because she ends up with the prince. She ends up with the guy. Her, her golden goose is the guy. So first of all, they stop the movie there. <laughs> And they don't show you what happens afterward. And it also indicates that her happiness is contingent on their relationship. And what a lot of fucking pressure for the guy. If, if her happiness is contingent on their relationship, what does he have to do in order to ensure that she gets what she wants because of what she's been told? That's really not fair to the guy or to her. It's total bullshit expectations. So you've got a story about a woman who says, oh, this is what I need to be happy and that's what I'm going to do. And you know that whether or not she ends up with the guy, she's going to be happy. Because again, he's the cherry on top. You know that even if the shit hits the fan in her life, it's okay because she's chosen the right foundation. When we did this play in uh, downtown, which is that way, in 2013, the responses that I got um, most strongly and most frequently, um, and they were from women and men. I mean, I had people coming up to me, I had people calling me, I got emails, was, this is one, this is so relatable. I understand why she didn't choose this person. I understand why she didn't choose this person. I understand why she chose herself. That was from men and women. They said, we get it, we like her. She's smart, she's ballsy, she's gutsy, she's complex, and so are the men. Now, she does end up choosing one of the men, but it's after she's done this, you know, fucking Greek Odysseus journey. Um, and it's really in the epilogue, it's not in the meat of the story that it happens. Um, both men that I have written, uh, Patrick and Daniel, they are both really good guys. There's not a single bad guy in the movie, not a single one. Because I want to show that just because you don't end up with this person doesn't mean they're a bad person. It means that they're not the right person. If any bad guy is in it, it's her because she needs to grow up and make some choices and take responsibility for herself. And we need to see people on screen taking responsibility for themselves. Accountability, it is, it is so sorely lacking in what we see today on the small screen, on the big screen. I think, I think seeing someone go, oh my gosh, I'm doing this, I need to fix this, I need to, I need to own it. One, I think it's really fucking sexy. And it makes me want to root for that person. And that's who Mara, the protagonist, is. That's what she does. And all of the men represented in this story, her, her boss, her co-workers, um, 
the husband of her best friend. They are all decent, solid guys because that's also what we're missing. We're missing seeing decent men who genuinely like and respect women in the media. And my hope is that by me taking responsibility for representing this on the page and therefore on the screen, and I know so many great men in real life, it's my way to say, I see you and I love you, let's show you to the rest of the world. I hope that it gives women and men permission to write really good guys and to represent them because they're there. And also a story of a woman who is lost and fucks up and finds her way and fucks up and finds her way and then finally gets it and is then open to the possibility of everything else. Why aren't we showing that? And that's my role and that's what I'm gonna show.